In today's episode, you will learn how to make a power bank from scrap laptop battery and make your own circuit that can be used to charge the power bank using a cell phone charger. Display the charging information using lithium battery voltage indicator display module. This power bank can also be used for the emergency lighting and can also be used to power up some small electronic circuits. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components needed for this project are number one, laptop battery or cells. Number two, lithium battery voltage indicator display. Number three, terminal block. Number four, USB port. Number five, battery charger TP4056 mini USB module. Number six, Vero board and finally number seven, some connection wires. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. These laptop batteries are not fully dead and still can power up my laptop for around 40 minutes. But for me this is not enough so I decided to purchase a new battery for my laptop and decided to convert these batteries into a power bank. First of all cut these wires as we don't need this circuit for now. But later we can use this circuit in some other project. Remove all the tapes. Separate all the cells. As you can see all the cells are separated. If you check every pair of the cells you will find every cell is marked with a plus and minus sign. The positive sides are connected together and also the negative sides are connected together. So these cells are connected in parallel. Now to further improve the current, I will connect all the batteries in parallel. I will simply connect the positive sides together and similarly for the negative sides. So this way I can improve the current capacity of the power bank. If you want, you can increase the number of cells. This is the lithium battery voltage indicator display. One is 3.7 volt and can be used with voltages ranging from 3.3 volt to 4.2 volts. 25% when the battery voltage is over 3.3 volts, it will light up one block power amount. 50%. When the battery voltage is over 3.5 volts, it will light up two blocks. 75% When the battery voltage is over 3.7 volts, it will light up three blocks. 100% When the battery voltage is over 3.9 volts, it will light up four blocks. When the battery voltage is under 3.3 volt, all the four blocks will turn off and only the external red line will remain on. Its use is very simple as you can see it has two contacts marked with plus and minus signs. All you need is just solder two wires which later will be connected with the positive and ground wires of the power bank. For the easy soldering I use the insulation tape to keep all the cells in place. Connect the negative side of all the cells together. Now connect the positive sides of all the cells together and solder a red wire. As you can see red and black wires are connected with the positive and negative sides. Now let's solder two wires with the battery voltage indicator. Now 
As you can see, the battery voltage indicator ground wire is connected with the ground wire of the power bank. When the positive wire of the power bank is connected with the positive wire of the battery voltage indicator, the display is turned on. This is a 5 volt, 1 ampere, 3.7 volt lithium cell battery charger TP4056 mini USB module which will be used for charging the power bank. Input voltage 4.5 volts to 5.5 volts. Full charge voltage is 4.2 volts. This module has two LEDs which are used as the indicators. Red LED indicates the charging while the blue LED indicates that the battery is fully charged. Over here we can connect a cell phone charger. As you can see we have battery plus and battery minus contacts which later will be connected with the power bank. I connected a cell phone charger to check the voltage. As you can see the voltage is greater than 4 volts which is best for charging the power bank. Fix the voltage indicator and battery charger on the Vero board. As you can see the components are fixed, now we will connect the power bank, voltage indicator and charger all together. First apply some solder to the positive and ground contacts of the charger. Then connect the ground wire of the display with the battery minus contact of the charger. And connect the positive wire of the display with the battery minus contact. Now connect the positive and ground wires with the terminal block where we will later connect a power bank. So now you can see the charger and voltage indicator display are connected with the terminal block. Now let's check this circuit before we connect a USB port for the cell phone. Connect the ground and positive wires of the power bank with the terminal block. This is the A-type USB port and as you can see it has 4 pins 1, 2, 3 and 4. Pin number 1 is the positive and pin number 4 is the ground while the middle 2 pins are the data pins. For the power bank we only need pin number 1 and pin number 4. First solder the support legs of the USB port with the Vero board to keep it fixed in place. Now solder pin number 1 of the USB port with the positive pin of the terminal block and solder pin number 4 of the USB port with the ground pin of the terminal block. After all the connections are done, then use a digital multimeter to check the continuity and short circuit. Now as you can see the circuit is ready, there is no short circuit. Over here we can connect a cell phone, over here we can connect our power bank. Over here we can use a cell phone charger to charge the power bank. Now let's check this circuit if it can charge a cell phone. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.